It's Hannah. <laughs> That's me. No, it's Tuesdays. You know what that means. We've got a Hannah original coming That's up That's right. Here. And I'm excited about this. Yeah, this one's really good. Okay, so an Arkansas-produced documentary is highlighting the beauty of America's first national river, the Buffalo, and it's honoring its last 50 years. Let's take a look. Established in 1972, the Buffalo National River flows freely for 135 miles. Now, the Buffalo is one of the few remaining undammed rivers in the lower 48 states. This is opportunity for Arkansas. Opportunity to become a leading state in a field in which she is best suited, the field of outdoor recreation. To honor those 50 years of America's first national river, undammed, a Buffalo River adventure was born. Then wouldn't it be fun to uh, make a documentary film, like a full length one, on the Buffalo River? In this 50 minute documentary, Arkansas filmmaker and director Andrew McNeese with Bluff Line Media follows adventurers along their journeys to help immerse viewers in the thrilling experiences the Buffalo has to offer. We immersed ourselves in the experiences uh, that we wouldn't normally be involved with. McNeese said he wanted to give viewers a respect for the river and hopes it inspires visitors to preserve it for future generations. A lot of people I think maybe aren't aware of the variety of things you can do in that region. You know, we call it the Buffalo National River. Everybody thinks you go to the river, you float and you head home and that's the, that's the biggest draw. But there's so much more going on. In this journey, you'll follow enthusiasts and athletes through the Buffalo for floating, backpacking, mountain biking and more. Well, the amount of talent that was involved and the amount of enthusiasm about the Buffalo, uh, people just love that area. And we were all discussing the river we love and, and having fun out there on our adventures and it just I think it comes through in the film that's so cool <laughs> did was, you shoot on it I did yeah no I went out and had a drone I had uh, you know a, a feature film camera <laughs> I said no no I did not that was actually part of the trailer from the documentary so if you're interested and you want to watch the full version of this thrilling documentary you can attend an upcoming premiere right here in Arkansas and those dates are located on the bluffline.media.com like their website yeah. and stuff uh, yeah I mean he said they went through some intense things while they were out there filming a couple of their guys lost some GoPros on the oh, river because wow. it rained and that, you know that river it, yeah can, yeah yeah it was wild uh, being from Clinton I mean that's just up the road yeah. from where I grew up so going to the Buffalo River is just something that you do when you're from yeah. Clinton spend a lot of time there and floated it but yeah you can I can see how people could, it could be dangerous yeah. from time to time, but it is so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of people from the state of Arkansas that haven't been yeah. there. Well, and just the history behind it too is so amazing. Exactly, and you know, that's what they wanted to get the message across with this documentary is that it's not just about hiking, you know, it's not just about rowing down the river. There's so much that you can do there and mm -hmm. you know, explore the, the natural state, like the beauty what Arkansas has to offer. I so think I've always wanted to, uh, to float the buffalo. Yeah. And then you can camp out like on the oh, side man. and then float some more. I always roast, thought that would be so cool. Roast some s'mores and you know, start yeah. a campfire. Nothing to yeah. it but just to do it. Just okay. to do it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was. I was in here thinking, yeah, from the guy that has like this really nice RV. Yeah. He's like, oh yeah. <laughs> That's, That's what you call him out. Yeah. That's good. 